Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, so, lots of rumors concerned with the Pixel 5 Pro. Lots of rumors basically concerned with this mysterious Pixel XE. And Android Central dropped an article piece that I thought was actually really intriguing as to why they feel like that these two things that we're seeing a lot of, that we're seeing leaks about, why they were most likely to be fake. And so I'm gonna shout out Android Central, and, and obviously if you guys want, um, I'll put the link in the description of the video so you guys can go and um, watch their video to kind of hear them say and show the things that I'm gonna talk about in this video. But um, to be quite real with everybody, there's a couple of things that you have to look at with the um, Pixel XE or the Pixel 5 Pro. And, um, you know, compare it to when the Pixel 4a leaked, when the Pixel 5 leaked. There was one thing that Android Central pointed out that I thought was actually pretty unique. And that is, we've seen the screen shares of the Google Pixel XE that supposedly leaked. <clears throat> and all we've seen was the screen itself where not only did it say in the name, it said it in the model name that it was a Google Pixel XE. But one thing that we didn't see is the back of the phone, which when you look at a lot of um, leaks that's happened this year when it came to the Google Pixels, we seen leaked videos that showed um, the phone being in use. The same thing with the Pixel 4, we seen the phone being in use. We seen the back of the phone, we seen the front of the phone, that had information regarding the phone itself. And so with these leaks, we're not really seeing it. Or if there are some sites that's producing like the back of the phone, they are literally doing, you know, renders that obviously it's not real. Um, for me, I've said this in, in live streams and in videos. I think one of the things that I really look at is source codes. You know what I mean? And when every time that there is a new Pixel device coming out, we have some sort of code name for it, which Google tends to them name their, their phones, their code names after Sportfish, right? So like, you know, Bramble and Redfin, Swordfish, and you know, just, there's so many names of Sportfish that they use code names. And you always find those in source code files for like the Chrome app, um, the Google search app, etc you find them in there um this is how that we had a head of information that for 2020 there was going to be three google pixel devices being released was that there was three code names now we didn't know specifically what um what they were going what they were going to be like you know people assumed there was going to be like a pixel 5 a pixel 5 xl and like a pixel pro but that didn't happen initially it came out the pixel 4a the pixel 4a 5g and the pixel 5. um that's what it landed on but we knew there were three devices that's something that we definitely knew but my neighbors um but anyways you know just to kind of go on this video so for those people that have some sort of hopes that the google pixel will in fact have like an xe model or a pixel 5 pro it really seems more to me like um, an 80% that a lot of these things are fake. And then you got to ask yourself, why would they do this? Why, why would they leak renders? Why would they leak there's a Pixel XE or a Pixel 5 Pro? Like, what, what is the purpose of this? Why would anyone go through lengths to do this? And that is because you have to look at the, the, the launch of this year's Google Pixel phones. There are people who just are very hung up on phones having a snapdragon 800 series chip in order to be classified as a flagship device obviously they're wanting something more powerful so there is a good amount of people that look at the pixel 5 and even though google did shortcuts to bring the price down while some people would say that those shortcuts were smart shortcuts at the end of the day there's still a massive amount of people that's like I wouldn't care if the phone cost 800 or 900 or a thousand dollars but i want a powerful pixel <clears throat> that demographic of users is still prevalent. It's still there. So how could anyone entice a company to go ahead and do something like that? Well, I look at it and I call it the Mortal Kombat effect. 
And that is, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll reference that. In the early days of Mortal Kombat, so Mortal Kombat 1, Mortal Kombat 2, um, in between those two games, so Mortal Kombat 1 came out, there was a lot of people that was like, you know, on, um, I think it was like a, a Nintendo Mag or something like that. They were talking about that there was a secret red ninja in Mortal Kombat. Now, in Mortal Kombat, we had Reptile. For those who don't know, you have to win the first four matches perfect and do fatalities. And then at the pit, when you see the silhouette of the witch fly across the moon, um, you would you would win that match, flawless victory both rounds, and uppercut the person to the pit, where then you would then, the next fight, you would go down and you would fight Reptile. I believe, if I have that right. I may be wrong in some areas. It's been a long time since I played Mortal Kombat. But anyways... A lot of people were going that there was another secret ninja and his name was Ermac and he was a red ninja. So in Mortal Kombat 2, you had Jade Smoke and Noob Saibot and one of the quote lines that they would say is Ermac who? But because of the rumors of this mysterious red ninja, come Mortal Kombat 3, well Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, introduced and brought Ermac who then they gave a backstory to. You guys you guys, you guys, see where I'm going with this? So basically with enough rumors and enough pressure, they actually pressured um, uh, was it John Tobias and Ed Boon to create Ermac as a real playable character. And I think that they're having this type of effect or they want this type of effect when it comes to the Google Pixel phones. They want to be able to pressure Google into building a more powerful device than what was released this year with the Pixel 5. Now, other rumors that are circulating around is that there is going to be a foldable Pixel device. That seems more plausible that Google's going to go that route as Apple is looking to do the same thing also with foldable technology. And then on top of that, you also have the next version of the Google Pixel, the Pixel 6, which will be the first one to have Google's dedicated processing chip within it. So no longer requiring or leaning on Qualcomm for a processing chip for their smartphones, which would then extend in my opinion, would extend the life expectancy of Google Pixel phones to be on par or if not better, if they wanted to, than Apple phones. Because that's one of the, the quintessential things about Apple is the longevity in their devices. Okay, they get about five years, maybe longer, depending on when Apple wants to pull the plug on support for an older device, right? And a lot of people look at Google and they say, well, your Pixel should be able to do that. And they should, if they actually were in enrooted with both hardware and software then this would have been something that would have came out the gate but google really didn't do that they kind of did their own thing um and relied on qualcomm for processing chips which i mean hey it is what it is anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section of the video if you guys believe that the google pixel xe or pixel 5 pro is really coming out let me know if you guys believe that and if so tell me why that you think that these devices exist and if you think it's fake 100 percent fake please elaborate why you believe it's 100 percent fake i would love to get you guys' thoughts and feedback thanks so much for checking out today's video you guys have been clutch and i'll see you guys next week with another video and as always law.